the mission of this whole thing is to be able to see exoplanets that are going around a star that are, it's fair to say, trillions of miles away. Yeah. Well, the eventual goal is to do that. We eventual have to do goal. some easier science cases to get there. Right. But this is this is the theory. And so when that happens, we have to detwinkle the star because it goes through the, the atmosphere. Right. And so I'm just kind of doing this step by step. Right now, if we put a laser from Earth into the sky, then we can use that light, theoretic or not theoretically, you do this, there's limitations, which we'll talk to him about in a second, but you can use that laser, which is a fake star, to say this is stable, and then you can detwinkle the star that way. Yes, the... right. So we can do that now using right. a natural star. We can u do that using the laser on Earth that right. shoots up and makes a fake star, as long as there's a bright star somewhere in the vicinity. We can do that, but those are not bright enough because we have to get information to correct. Right. And if you don't have enough information, you can't correct well enough. So you okay? need and a the laser. information is the bright the brightness of the star. So yes. you need a, you need so we're talking about space lasers. You need space a laser, laser. We're talking about space from laser. space mm -hmm. to shoot back and then you we're gonna use to the telescope. The telescope and this mechanism. The mechanism's mm -hmm. gonna use that the laser coming from space as a strong enough signal to orientate itself in such a way to detwinkle the star, meaning to account for the atmosphere of Earth and therefore be precise enough to see whatever you're looking at, which eventually will be planets around other stars. Yes. And for that eventual case, even though Keck is so powerful and amazing, we need to go to the next level. Right. And that would be the ELT, the European Extremely Large Telescope.